You know how some people are the types that will sit with a book and make it completely pristine and clean and like, you know, like this, where there's not a note in it or anything? That is so totally not me. <laughs> when I read a book, I mark it up. This is the kind of marking I do. I mark dates and places and times, and I relate it to other books. And if there's a similar topic, or if I found something that contradicts, or if I find a scripture that has to do with it, that's what I do. Like some people mark their Bibles, I, I mark everything. This is uh, the autobiography that Eugene Nida wrote, and he didn't have published by any organization that employed him. He was actually more honest in this book than any other though he didn't give dates. So I had to kind of figure things out. You'll find out in my book uh, why they changed the Bible. If you're on YouTube, you just go down for more information and, and you can see the information from there and click to a link and, and the excerpts from the book. In one excerpt, I talk about what happened in this section right here. I call that part to roam with love. Have you ever wondered about how you meet some people? Well, the truth is, not all meetings are accidental. Sometimes people have been watching you for a long time and they've decided about how to contact you, especially when you're from a big organization like the Roman Catholic religion. And this is right out of Nida's own words. And I describe what he said and then just take it apart. I think it's worth a listen and worth a read if you want to look at the excerpt. This story here shows how people paid close attention to Eugene Knight, the father of modern linguistics. And from that point on, the road that his life took shifted. I think you'll find it interesting.